Welcome back to the channel. I am Captain Chad Gabs, and this is the Super Homie Glitch. She's nine. She's an older gal. She likes to sleep. She's not dead. I know. You're like, hey, this dude's filming a fucking video with his dead dog in the background. She's very much so alive. Oh, she's a girl. She's just really comfortable. Okay, so that's Glitch. This is Frank and Weenie. He's fresh out of the slammer. And I just want to say thanks for being here. My number one goal is to keep you guys uh, a little bit more informed and up to date on all things dog. And hopefully we provide a little bit of entertainment value for you in the process. And today I am wearing my pits and ass t-shirt exclusively available at teamfloppyears.com. I will link that in the description. Uh, it just helps the channel, so on and so forth. But anyway, the video I'm about to show you right now is either going to piss you off greatly or it's going to make you laugh. I'm going to cut to the video and then we're going to come back here and we're going to talk about it from my personal vantage point. All right. Thanks for checking in. <laughs> okay, fam. If you laughed at it, we're nothing alike in reference to how we perceive dogs and what it is to be a, a literally just a decent dog owner. If it made you mad, we're probably right there. You know, we probably think on the same wavelength as, in terms of like how fucking inappropriate that is to do to your dog. I mean, you guys probably go around talking about how much you love your dog, right? Like, you probably say, I love my little chihuahua. But then you turn around and psychologically damage it on purpose in front of, like, everybody to see. It's one thing to do that. It's another thing to literally do it, like, and tell everybody about it. Like, hey, I'm a shitty fucking dog owner. Um, and, and the shocking, the most shocking is, like, if you go through the comment section, it's like, ha, ha, ha. They make jokes about it. I mean, it's like, what planet do you live on where, like, treating something you love like like that is is appropriate it's not it's not and and and, and here's here's the other thing all these people laughing in that behavior what they're doing is being influenced by it so not only are you fucking your dog's mental state up you're also encouraging other people to do that so maybe you laughed at it maybe you've never had it explained to you this way before and i could only hope that this video will help you understand that when you do that and you show people that you do that, actual dog people look at this and shake their head into oblivion. It's sad. We feel bad for your dog. While you're getting laughs and likes and views and clout, your dog is over there being day by day just deeper and deeper into psychological warfare with its own fucking people. Like, like it literally blows my fucking mind that people do this and laugh about it. Hey, I'm a dog guy. I'm a dog lover, and I know how do I know how easy it is to fuck a dog up. And that little dog right there is fucked up, and I certainly don't blame the dog. I mean, we could all see why this little animal has no trust, why this little animal is trembling in fear, and just probably lives in a horrific headspace. Ah, but good for you. You got some likes and comments for it. Congratulations. Hey, this is TFE TV, and um. If you like the content, don't forget to ring the bell and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. That's pretty much all I got. If you have anything to add to that, I mean, I'm sure there's a ton more. This is just off the top of the rip. I mean, I actually get so mind bottled over it that I sometimes I'm lost for words. I think I got a little bit of the point across. Again, I appreciate you being here. This is Glitch. She's alive, I promise. And, and this is Frank and Weenie, and he's also alive. It's late. I'm going to post this video in the morning for you guys. And uh, hope you enjoy it. Peace. Captain, out.